Every animal, plant and fungus began life as a single cell. An adult human is made up of about 100 billion cells which all contain an identical copy of a DNA that was found in that first original cell. This video will show you how cells divide in order to increase in number and we'll also look at a different type of cell division used to produce sex cells. Mitosis can be thought of as normal cell division. It's used for growth and repair and produces two daughter cells identical to each other and to the parent cell. As we're looking here at normal body cells, we start with a diploid cell, meaning there are two copies of each chromosome and end up with two identical diploid cells. The first thing that happens is the DNA is copied inside the nucleus. The copies of chromosomes are attached to each other and appear as X shapes when seen under the microscope. The nucleus disappears so that the chromosomes can line up in pairs down the center of the cell. The pairs of chromosomes are then pulled apart to each side of the cell. A complete set of chromosomes are now found on each side of the cell. A new nucleus forms around each of these, after which the cell membrane splits the cell in two and two separate cells are made. It's important to notice that both of these cells are identical to each other and that they're diploid, making them normal body cells. Mitosis works to make every new cell in a plant or animal except for the cells used to produce sexually. These sex cells, known as gametes, are different as they only contain one set of the chromosomes. They're called haploid. This is so that when two gametes combine in fertilization, they produce a diploid cell that can then divide by mitosis as normal. Meiosis is how these haploid gametes are produced. To begin with, the chromosomes are copied just as they were in mitosis. The chromosomes then line up down the middle of the cell after the nucleus has disappeared alongside similar copied chromosomes. The chromosomes are pulled to each side of the cell and the cell can divide into by the cell membrane splitting it down the middle. In each of these two cells the chromosomes line up again before being pulled apart to each side and a new nucleus forms in each of the four cells. Each of these cells contain just one set of chromosomes so they're haploid. They're also all different to each other. A common exam question is to compare mitosis and meiosis. Remember to show how they're similar as well as how they're different. They're similar processes in that they both produce new cells called daughter cells. They also both start with the chromosomes being copied. The key differences are that mitosis produces two daughter cells and meiosis produces four. The daughter cells in mitosis are identical to each other, but in meiosis they're different. Mitosis produces a diploid cells, whereas meiosis produces haploid cells. Mitosis is used for growth and repair. Meiosis is used to produce gametes for sexual reproduction.